Hello and welcome everyone and welcome to the next episode of the TA Job Market Review with me, Robert Nunn. And today I'm joined by the delightful Sophie Power. How are you? Hello, I am good. Thank you, Rob. Um, thank you for having me. How are you doing? Thank you for joining me. Very well, thank you. Very well. So as always, can you start with just a brief introduction to yourself and your career in TA to date? Yeah, sure. So Sophie Power, as we've already mentioned, my kind of niche in the TA world tends to be early stage scaling startups. I've I've worked at quite a few now um, as having been a contractor and perm. Uh, started working in recruitment when I was still at uni, believe it or not. Um, right. Spending my summer day, summer holidays at uni working the temps desk at Reed in Newbury. Um, basically just placing all of my mates. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I was very popular uh, those summers, which is great. Um, and then eventually going into recruitment myself after graduation, and then very quickly uh, sort of shuffled in house. Um, so yeah, that's uh, yeah. And, and these days, I'm very focused on yeah, sort of scaling, uh, recruiting um, from super early stage. Yeah. I'm usually kind of series sort of C to series B. I do a bit of everything really, largely tech, mostly yeah. kind of tech, working in sort of tech startups that kind of fits, but I do ops, commercial roles as well, and sales, marketing, things like that too, customer success, I do a bit of everything really. I think it sounds like, yeah. yeah. And I know you've had, you've had um, a bit of time away from the market, but you're coming back into it now. How are you finding it? Yeah, it's been interesting. I, uh, yeah, so I was off work and having a bit of a break in terms of like effectively sort of finished work in April yeah hard stop uh so it wasn't entirely planned as I was not very well unfortunately but feeling much better now coming back into things it's been interesting so the last time I was job hunting was late 2021 when we were having or we being the market were having a bit of a boom um mm. it was it was a fun time to be looking for a job there were some <laughs> fantastic roles out there and people it felt like after the pandemic people were starting to really kind of understand the value that talent acquisition can bring and really kind of appreciate and and, and value us and so it's been a little bit frustrating uh, two years later to see the polar opposite um, in the market. So I see a little bit more activity, more people updating that they've got jobs than they are looking for work, but um, not, not, not quite the, the right balance that, that I'd like as a job seeker. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's been tough. It's been yeah, tough. Yeah, no, absolutely. And, and is there any particular approach that you adopt when, when looking for work? Any insights? you can share yeah so <laughs> this go this flies in the face of general consensus um mm -hmm. and i you know do apologize for that because uh, i'm sure some people will, will vehemently disagree with me a lot of people say treat job hunting like a full-time job and with the best will in the world that's a, a great attitude to have you've got to be proactive yeah You've got to be kind of enterprising. You've got to be tenacious. Um, all things that, you know, kind of fit that idea. But I think if you do that for 40 hours a week, every week, you will go insane. And for those of us who are unemployed, and I am unemployed, gang. I, I am not working and have not worked for a while. So I do know the feeling. I would say that I'm also, you know, a grown up who, you know, has other things going on outside of work. So I've been trying to kind of balance, uh, you know, a little bit of, well, while I am off, let's, you know, sort of do a few other things, you know, a bit of life admin, some creative projects, things like that. And I think it has helped keep me a bit sane, um, a bit. Um, yeah. Anybody who knows me and is watching this knows I'm not entirely sane, um, but that's fine. That's that sort of helped me keep balance, which I think is, you know, we talk about work-life balance, but, you know, job hunting life balance, I think is important yeah. as well. So, Kind of treating it like a very important part-time job. That's no, I, way I do agree with that actually, because you can get into a bit of a well where you're just scrolling job boards, you're just scrolling the activity, yeah. and it does that's drive you insane. But yeah, I mean, we we met and, and I suppose knew of each other back in the heady days of DBR, mm -hmm. um, and you were very prominent there you were a, an admin and what have you so you understand the importance of networking community 
But uh, how do you apply that for, for, for your job search? Yeah, it's an interesting question. So yeah, always been, not always, but certainly for a long time been very actively involved in in kind of the talent acquisition community and the space you know especially sort of when I was living in London and all of that good stuff I was never a stranger to the pub which worked well for for DBR uh, mm-hmm. named after a pub for those yep. who weren't aware and I'm now involved in in TCC the talent community um, which was founded by Sean and and Steve and, and Yas um, one one would be surprised to realize the power of saying yes to that random coffee and you don't really know why um they want to meet and have a chat with you um but you're just going to go with an open mind and just be like if nothing else it's a it's a nice half an hour isn't it and i've always been a big believer in yeah sure oh let's go for a coffee or cool that's great um within within reason um if i'm 99 sure you're just going to sell me something i'll probably say no um because <laughs> i work for tiny startups gang i don't have a budget yeah i've always been a big fan and and you know there have been times in my career where i you know have been looking for work and gone uh because i've not planned it very well and then i've had a message from somebody that i met at a networking event you know six months ago going hey i need a ca person um are you did i hear you say you're looking for work at the moment yes (laughs) Uh, that's that's happened several times so the the power of communities and, and networking and i'm always banging the community drum um in anything i talk about online um really helps i think it's it's good for your mental health as well it's good for kind of just feeling less isolated um when you are sat scrolling looking at linkedin seeing 500 people have applied for a talent acquisition manager job that was posted an hour ago and uh even though intellectually as a recruiter you know that that's not going to be 500 golden applications you're still it's still you know gets in isn't it yeah yeah i think it's it's really important so has there been any positive experiences ultimately it's been a negative outcome but have you been part of any recruitment processes that you've uh had a positive positive experience about or you know you may think that that's a good idea for next time or or any examples that you want to share yeah so if you're hiring for a talent acquisition person recruiter whatever you want to however you want to slice it you're probably already a bit short-staffed in your talent team. So, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, it is difficult. A joke I often like to make is that doctors make the worst patients and recruiters make the worst candidates. And that is as much like doctors, we got strong opinions about how it should be done. Yeah. I like to, I like to think I, I don't know it all, but I'm sure we've all got those, those perfectionist kind of tendencies sometimes. Um, everyone in any with any field but yeah I've definitely had a couple of, of processes where I've been really impressed with particularly the quality of the feedback actually yeah probably shouldn't name names actually um so I was about to go this company did it really well um yeah, tag them in the in the post when it comes up on LinkedIn if you there we, oh there we go there we go yeah. okay well um Octopus Ventures, I interviewed there um, to be a talent partner um, within their company. Um, So working for different kind of folks in their group. And at the time, that type of role wasn't as common as it is now. I think most most kind of um, venture firms, most funds do have somebody like that now, which is such a good idea. I think it's a brilliant idea. and um yeah i i interviewed with them i i wasn't successful i probably wasn't quite ready for that kind of role at the time i i didn't quite have my head around the strategic side of things i was i was nearly there but not quite and no. um that i mean essentially that was kind of the feedback really um but i would say laura um who I interviewed with did a really good job of kind of breaking down like if you know you did this bit really well um mm you know, for next time you need to work on this and and just in terms of like polish and presentation, like try this, this and this next time. And that's really useful feedback, not just for my next interview, which I then went and nailed and got the job. Yeah. But, um, and this was way back when. (laughs) Um, But, you know, also 
it's just helpful for like your working life generally because there's always you know sort of things you can relate back when you do then get a job and want to take it forward you know so that was one process I was really impressed with actually because you know it was also it you know it did feel challenging I did feel kind of pushed and, and challenged in a good way um okay. you know it was very relevant to the job uh for sure so it also had kind of helped me realize and, and accept as well that probably actually probably not quite ready not quite yeah, ready for yeah. this yeah. job uh just yet um yeah. but that was that was 2019 i think yeah okay. 2019 um so been a couple of years but yeah that that was one particular process that springs to mind that i was super impressed with um yeah. and i think that that feedback piece is really important because when you are really busy taking the time to go through like that quality feedback can be it, it is difficult when you are super time poor yeah, thank you for you, Sophie um you. And all the best with your onward search thank you thank you so much thank Great. you